Lord everyone. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Are you happy today to attend this online service? Yeah, I am so happy today to attend this online service. And as we start this prayer, let's join our hands, close our eyes and look to the God in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this time which you have given, Lord Jesus. I commit everything into your hands, Lord Jesus. Father, I commit the one who is going to speak about you, Lord Jesus. Not their words should come, Lord Jesus, from their mouth, but your words should come through them, Lord Jesus. Father, the one who is going watching this video, Lord Jesus, I commit them into your hands, Lord Jesus. You, be, uh, you work in their lives, Lord Jesus. Father, you lead them and you guide them, Lord Jesus. You give them their memory power to memorize your verses Lord Jesus as Father I commit all the children's Lord Jesus the one who is going to see the one is watching Lord Jesus I commit Lord Jesus as Father you you lead them Lord Jesus as Father I commit them into your hands Lord Jesus help them to understand everything what you say Lord Jesus as Father help them to do the activity and memorize your verses Lord Jesus and answer the question answers which they Post, Lord Jesus, yes, Father, I commit everything into your hands, Lord Jesus. You be the Alpha and the Omega, Lord Jesus. I commit all the present worship time, word time, and and the activity and all the memory verse, Lord Jesus. I commit everything into your hands, Lord Jesus. You be the Alpha and the Omega, Lord Jesus. You lead us and guide us, Lord Jesus. This video only should glorify your name, Lord Jesus. I pray the prayer in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 When you're jumping, jumping up and down When you're spinning, spinning round and round God's seeing everything you do Cause He's watching, watching authorities because no authorities exist without God's permission and existing authorities have been put there by God. Whoever opposes the existing authorities opposes what God has ordered and everyone who does evil so will bring judgment on himself. For rulers are not to be feared by those who do good but by those who do evil. Hey children and praise the Lord for you all of you doing good. And I know in this uh, situation, you all are still at home, you are not able to go out to meet your friends and maybe you have a lot of restrictions like not to go here, not not to go there and wear your mask all the time, wash your hands, so many rules and regulations. Yes, children, we it's not only you, we all are having the same restrictions and yes, it is our duty to follow because whatever government has done these rules, it is for us and for our good and we are following and you also have to follow you should follow your parents what did they say because there is a reason why they are saying it even the scripture says this we just said Romans chapter 13 
verse 1 to 3 it just read it says no let every soul be subject unto the high powers for there is no power but god the powers that be are ordained of god see it says so whatever the leaders are saying it is not that they are saying that is given by god because the leaders are appointed by god Okay. So, whatever their rules they are giving, whatever the regulations they are giving, it is for our own good. And it is mandated for all of us to follow it. And even when parents say, whenever they say that they do something, they really mean it. Okay. We need to really obey what parents say. I, I want to tell you a small story about the obedience, what exactly the obedience means and how it affects our life. Okay. And there was a huge banyan tree in a forest. I think most of you would have seen the banyan tree. It is always very huge. And uh, in that, there was a family of monkeys staying. And I said family of monkeys, there were all the family members were there. There was a Tata monkey, there was Ajji monkey, and there was Papa monkey, there was Amma monkey, there was Auntie monkey, Uncle monkey, Mama monkey, Akka monkey, Tangi monkey, Amma, Appa monkey. And there were Anna, Tangi, all, all monkeys, you know, so many cousin monkeys and entire family was on that tree. And they all lived very happily. They all used to live in that tree. And every day morning, what they used to do, they used to go out to hunt for a food. Okay, now also you see this base special. Especially we see so many monkeys coming around, or even in our apartment we see the herds of monkeys coming and like you know, they are carrying a few vegetables from the house and all that. Because they come and collect their food. So these monkeys, or the family of monkeys, they used to go out, collect their food and come back in the evening. So when they come back in the evening, all the small monkeys sit with Tata monkey and Tata monkey should tell them a story. So one day they all went, came back and they were sitting, they said, Tata, we want to listen to a story. Tata said, okay, you all come and Tata sat with all the small monkeys and suddenly Tata looked up and he saw some object on the sky, in the sky. Then he said, okay, can you all tell me what is that object in the sky? It's very far. And some, the, some of the monkeys said, one monkey said, Tata, it, can, it could be a butterfly. Said, the other said, no, no, I think it's a sparrow. Then others say, no, it is crow. Then Tata said, no, it is not anything what you are saying, but it is called eagle. Then they said, they all said, eagle, what is that eagle, Tata? Then they say, okay, eagle, can you see, it, it flies very high, but it is very strong and it is very big, he said. Oh, how does it look, Tata? They said, yeah, it looks very big and it, it has very, very strong body also. And it is a hunter. It can, it can come and hunt a small bird, a small animal, even a, a bigger animal, they said. So they said, oh, it is that big. He said, yes. And Tata said, see, you need to be very careful with this eagle because eagles can carry even the monkeys. They said, oh, even us. They said, yes, they can carry even you, they said. So they all like, thought for a while, said, oh, then it is real. Be dangerous. Then Tata said, yes, and especially you should never give food to monkey, the oh, eagle, he said. Why? Because when you give food, the eagle can come down and if he see you, it can take you along with the food also. And he also told them, you should never be alone, you always try to be along with others so that you are safe. Then all monkeys heard and said, oh yeah, then they were thinking about, oh, that eagle. And that night they all went to sleep. From that, one naughty monkey kept thinking what that eagle could be, how the eagle could look. Okay, And he was, he was like whole night he was thinking about it. Because Tata said you should not see that because you should not give it food or nor you should go near it because it's very dangerous. Rest all monkeys the obedient. But this monkey little bit disobedient because he wanted to explore and see how that monkey looks. So morning when everyone got up and they all got ready to go, this monkey is still sleeping and they all cousins, the smaller came and said, hey, come, come, we'll go, everybody is ready. He said, no, no, I'm not feeling well today, so I don't want to come. Then all elders also came and said, what happened to you? He said, no, my stomach is paining, so I don't want to come. Then said, no, no, you come because it is not safe for you to stay alone here, so we will take care of you coming with us. Then he said, he said, no, I don't want to come. I really don't want to come. I'm really very sick. And he started doing all tantrums. Then uh, they told, okay, fine, you be here. But you take care of yourself. Don't leave this place and go anywhere and be safe. 
Okay, they gave all the guidelines for him not to move from that place. Then he said, okay, and everybody left to collect the food. After some time, this monkey got up and what was his aim? To see eagle today. So he kept watching where the eagle is, where suddenly he saw an eagle there. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes, eagle is there. Then quickly he took some food and he came down to give food to eagle. Because Tata told, if you give food, the eagle come down. So he wanted to give the food. And as soon as the eagle saw that food, it came down, quickly came down. Okay. So instead of food, what the eagle did? Carried the small monkey. He carried him with him and went to one of the nearby tree and he devoted him. Okay. So what happened to the small monkey? The small monkey lost the leg. Why? Because of the disobedience. When everybody came back and they saw, they didn't find him. They went on searching. Then Tata saw the food falling down. Then he realized what this monkey could have done. Okay. So children, what we learn from this story is, we have to obey what our elders says. We have to obey what our parents says. We have to obey what our government says because there is something good for us. Okay? We should not cross the limit and try to do something different which is not right. Not like this small monkey because this small monkey we see the disobedience. Here. So I want to request all of you to listen to your parents. Still there are few more days. You have to be inside the house. You have to maintain the social distancing. Okay, you have to wear mask when you go out. That to go all only when your parents are along. Please don't go anywhere out when your parents are not around. Be safe in the house because that's what a scripture also says, right? Because even God, when He bought Israelites from Egypt, right? They were 450 years. They were as a slaves. They served there as a slaves, and they had no rules, no law, no regulation because entire life they were doing only the slavery. But when God rescued them and brought them out with the help of Moses and Aaron, he didn't want to take them quickly to the place where he prepared for them. Okay? The, he, it was a place the like the place where he wanted them to go and live. He didn't want to take them directly there. Instead, he made them walk in the desert for 40 years. Okay? 40 years is a long day. Yes, but why he wanted them to teach the laws of the land. Before they enter the land of milk and honey, what he prepared for them, he wanted them to discipline themselves because they had no discipline, they had no laws. So he wanted to teach them. That's why he took 40 years to train them. Even when Moses went on the, the Sinai Mount, God gave him 10 commandments. Not only the 10 commandments, along with, along with that he gave them the list of the laws. 40 days and 40 nights, he sat there and he gave them the laws. Okay? Those laws which were read to Israelites every year. So they have to follow those rules and regulations. The same way we are all in the situation, we have so many rules, so many regulations, but we have to follow them, we have to obey them. And especially I tell children, please obey your parents. Okay, that is very important for you because even the Ten Commandments, when God gave Ten Commandments to Moses, the first four belonged to God. But the very next, the fifth one belonged to parents. It says, honor your, father, honor your father and your mother. And it is also called the commandment with promise. It's the first commandment with promise. Please listen to your parents, obey them. Okay, children, hope you all understood what is the meaning of this story I told. And I know you are good children. You are going to obey your parents. And please be safe. And uh, today's memory verse would be Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2 and 3. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 2 and 3. Respect your father and your mother is the first commandment that has a promise added, so that all may go well with you and you may live a long time in the land. For the activity, you need to take a sheet like this. A brown sheet if you don't have a brown sheet or take a white color and color it and you fold it like this then you mark a center and, uh, okay. and then it come down and then mark two points down then you, you draw semicircle like this then you cut it in the lines
coffee and then you get a tablet like this if you open you can see there are two pages you can either uh, make cut it or you can keep it like this and you can write draw lines and write five commandments on uh, one side five commandments on the other side and you make your craft and upload it thank you children do the activity and send your photos and the video of your memory verse to the number we have displayed below we will also be posting a link to the questions to be answered so stay safe and be blessed see you all next week bye